What's up, y'all? I'm back at it. I ain't at Ocean Beach today, though. I'm at the uh, Half Moon Bay Tide Pools. Currently, I think it's 1.30 right now. Low tide is at 3 p.m. It's a negative one low tide, so it's gonna be nice exposure for all these uh, rocks and shit that's out here. I'm trying to get some uni. All I got is a screwdriver and a bucket. I ain't never done this before, so if I'm able to do it, so can you. Uni uh, limit is 35 per person, no size limit. You'll probably find the purple sea urchins out here, which are uh, an invasive species. So the more we get off or out the water, the better, I guess. All right, I'll check back in with you. Yee. We got a lot of time. Tide starts coming in around 3.30, 4 o'clock. This is sick though, dude. This is my first time here. Check out all the wildlife though. Shout out Stingy. Wildlife. See these right here are called uh, starburst anemones. This right here. And when you touch it, it'll close up. He didn't really close up, but they'll close up like that. There's a bunch of them. But man, this is sick crazy how much wildlife is just right under your toes man shout out the ocean <laughs> all right if you can see I'm pretty sure this whole area was straight up just uni you can see the, the, the whole crevices that they made look there's one right there they didn't look that big Another one right there. Another one right here. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, it's a lot of small ones that are left. Oh, look, my sister just got one. Ugh. But see, what I'm looking for are these right here. So a lot of times you'll see an urchin put like a shell or something over itself. What do you know? There he is. It's a little small though. We're looking for the big boys, which are hard to find right now. Let me just show you how to get it out. So with this, you take your plier or your screwdriver, just put it around the edges. You're gonna just slowly ease them out of there. There we go. Get your glove. You got a uni. All right, so I literally, I had to come to the very edge of the of the reef bow here, pretty far from shore. Cause the big unis are, they're not, they're not back here anymore. They're all a little deeper than everyone can go. A lot of people have been coming out, you know, making it like a family thing. Come out and get the uni. Honestly, I do not recommend this cause this isn't very safe. Ugh. Got myself a little anchor right here. It's a nice one right there. Another nice one right there. I'm gonna do the same thing. Pry it open a little bit. You don't wanna uh, do it too hard. You just wanna do it soft. You know, get them off there. This helps to have gloves. Cause these guys can stab you. There you go. I don't know, this one's still pretty small in my opinion, but it'll do. All right, y'all. Found a cool little nook. I don't know if you can see them. There's a lot of them. It's a pretty dangerous spot. Definitely don't recommend uh, coming right here in this. You somewhat know what you're doing. Always keep your eyes on these waves too, because that could come in and just take you out. I'm gonna try to get some, uh, try to get those right there. I don't know. There's a lot, man, right there, over there. 
over there they're all like deeper now because a lot of people come here and they take all the easy nice ones so now if you want to come out half moon bay and get your uni you're gonna have to put in some work So what I'm doing is trying to get them right here when the tide goes out. What I'm doing is super dangerous. Like, you guys, uh, you should not do this. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? This shit dangerous. But you get some good ones when there aren't no good ones right now. All right, so at this point my GoPro died and I ended up harvesting some mussels on the way out. You gotta harvest mussels by hand and by hand only. You can't use any tools or pliers or anything like that. But yeah, we got a nice little haul. Took it back to the crib and uh, cooked it up all right so in order to open it up I just took some scissors and started cutting into it you're basically trying to get the yellow stuff out to eat and extracting all the kelp and seaweed that the uni eats you don't want to eat that stuff so try your best you just uh, do what I do get a butter knife and scrape inside those uh, crevices wash it in some fresh water salt water in between and you end up like that I usually take them out and make a hand roll yeah, that shit look good 